Oklahoma has received more than two and a half billion dollars in federal stimulus money. Now is the time to spend it and to keep track of it. Joining us this morning to talk more about the uh, stimulus money is Tom Daxon, a former auditor who worked under Governor Frank Keating. Uh, Tom, once again, tell us the name of your organization. And is it fair to say this is a, a conservative group? Yes, I think so. And I'm not actually. Uh, I, I do research uh, for the Oklahoma Council of Public Affairs uh, from time to time. And uh, I think that uh, led to me being uh, asked to participate directly this morning. Okay. But uh, we do uh, look at things. Uh, from the standpoint of free market economics uh, on a number of different issues. All right, so um, this first stimulus, and of course the president yesterday or the day before said, hey, there could be a second stimulus. I bet you're thrilled to hear the thought there could <laughs> well, be another stimulus. Yeah. Well, I, I think uh, uh, we, need, uh, we need something to give us a pickup uh, for this economy, uh, whether or not the stimulus package is going to be successful remains to be seen. Uh, there's certainly a lot of downside to it. Uh, hopefully, uh, we can get through this with our economy uh, intact. Okay, so let's go to that first stimulus, over $700 billion. Obviously, uh, you, you would believe uh, things should have been done differently. I guess you believe some stimulus was needed. So what would you have done? Well, I think the first thing, Rich, we have to remember is, is we don't face problems we can't solve. Uh, but we need to face those problems realistically and pragmatically uh, develop uh, solutions. Uh, this was caused by a crisis in the banking system that actually was brought on primarily because we made too many loans to people who weren't able to service the loans and uh, created uh, all sorts of problems in our housing markets and practically torpedoed our financial system. Uh, Tom, uh, Tom can I, I just want to interrupt you for a second. You, you brought that yeah. up, the housing market. And uh, just uh, yesterday, I believe Barney Frank once again has written a letter mm -hmm. to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac saying ease up, ease up on the restrictions for, for uh, condominium sales. Were you aware of that? And what's your reaction? That's, that's a disaster. If that uh, happens, uh, if if we want to help people uh, buy homes, and that's a, a good thing, home ownership's a wonderful thing, but we ought to be uh, helping them make down payments. That would give them some equity. Uh, that would put them in a much better position to service a loan, to saddle people with debt that uh, they can't uh, afford to pay back. Uh, doesn't help uh, the homeowner, and it's uh, uh, just about uh, sank our economy. Okay, getting back to the stimulus money now, are, are you really, are, are you concerned that much fraud will be uh, involved here? I, I, it seems like there's so much scrutiny from organizations like yours and others that fraud's not really the, do you believe fraud will be a problem? Well, fraud's always a potential problem wherever you have uh, government spending and particularly uh, where you have uh, spending in uh, programs that are getting started that are somewhat haphazard. And by the nature of the stimulus money, uh, we're going to have a lot of that. So uh, I know yesterday the uh, state auditor, uh, the uh, FBI, the attorney general, and others, a uh, U.S. attorney uh, came together and uh, opened up this hotline. That is certainly a positive development. I hope they have the resources to be able to follow through on things. Uh, uh, and we are going to have to be vigilant. Yeah, very quickly, we're all out of time, Tom. But if somebody yeah. were, were listening to you now and was interested in your organization, well, I know it's not your organization, do some work for them. But yeah. what, the average citizen, uh, start with a phone number, I guess, but what else can they do if they're concerned about this? Well, I think the first thing they can do is talk to their elected representatives. Uh, I used to hold public office many years ago. And uh, any time you were able to have uh, an exchange with uh, citizens, that was always a positive thing. So uh, uh, make people need to become informed and make their views known. And as I say, we don't face problems we can't solve. We're Oklahomans. We're Americans. Uh, we'll figure out ways to get uh, through this. But we do have to face our problems realistically and develop solutions that work. All right. On that positive note, we're going to let you go. But uh, I, I really enjoyed talking with you, Tom. Thank you very much, sir. Rich, thank you. Mm -hmm.